In situations where rumors spread throughout the globe, the distinction between fact and fiction might become increasingly difficult to discern. In particular, this is the case with popular people such as Kate Middleton, whose every action is closely monitored and anticipated with great anticipation. In recent times, a storm of worry has been released by allegations that suggest Kate was placed in a medically induced coma. These rumors have not only upset fans and followers, but they have also forced an unusual response from the palace itself. On the other hand, what exactly took place behind the shimmering curtains of Buckingham Palace? Remove the cloak that has been placed over the rumors that are circulating about the health of the Duchess of Cambridge, and find out how the royal family deals with the buzz of false accusations in the face of a constantly vigilant public eye. It is not uncommon for the news circuit to resemble a game of telephone with the original message becoming distorted as it travels through the numerous stations. Ka, a Spanish journalist, recently made the assertion that Kate Middleton, the Duchess of Cambridge, had undergone surgery and was placed in a coma that was induced by medical professionals. These scary claims went so far as to assert that a makeshift hospital was being created at the residence of Prince William and Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge. The uncompromising stance taken by Buckingham Palace which categorically rejected these charges as utterly false, brought into sharp relief the dangers associated with news that has not been validated. A defense plan that is not just anchored in correcting disinformation, but also in defending the esteem of the monarchy is suggested by the vehement denial that was made by Buckingham Palace. This rejection says volumes. This delicate balance that the royal family must maintain is highlighted by the fact that they are required to publicly deny such serious claims. The answer also demonstrates how sensationalized reports can undermine the dignity of royals and the institutions that they represent, which places reputation management at the forefront of their crisis communication. This is despite the fact that royals are no strangers to scrutiny. An unexpected turn in royal narratives, which are frequently tightly controlled and orchestrated, is revealed by the speculation over Kate's health. The public's obsession with the private lives of the royal family is fueled by the belief that these rumors will have an effect on the relationship between the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. This speculation just adds another layer to the story. Despite the fact that these events serve as a backdrop for the narrative that is being presented by the media, they also provide a challenge to the private and emotional well-being of members of the royal family who are required to manage their positions while being scrutinized by the public. When it comes to the illustrious lifestyles of the royal family, the media has a tremendous influence on the public's perspective of the world. This is especially true as far as the royal family is concerned. One example of how quickly false information may spread in the absence of fact-checking is the rumor that Kate Middleton is in a critical health state. This allegation rocked the boat of popular perception. Despite the fact that the palace's clarification was intended to restore order, it raises concerns regarding the responsibilities of the media to report with integrity and the implications that arise when the border between news and entertainment gets blurry. When we look into the crystal ball of royal reporting, the dilemma of protecting one's privacy while still protecting the public interest continues to be a topic of discussion. A reckoning with the ever-changing relationship between the royal family and the media is required as a result of the recent conflict between the palace and baseless reports over the health of the Duchess of Cambridge. When it comes to the future, it is quite probable that the family will re-evaluate its strategy in order to prepare for future situations that are comparable to those that occurred in the past. This will establish the standard for how privacy, respect, and transparency are to be balanced in an era in which the narrative of the royal family can be hijacked by speculation and possibly sensationalism.